we destined to destroy each other? Or can we change who we are and unite? Is the future truly set? Hey, what's up guys? Movie Man here. So I just got back from seeing X-Men Days of Future Past. Now I am going to make this, move, this uh, movie review into a spoiler filled video and I'm not going to make a separate video for a spoiler free but I will be fair and I'll give you a couple things about uh, what I think of this movie spoiler free. Now do I have to recap with the movies? If you want to see my full review of them, click this link right here. This is where I review like almost all the X-Men movies including Wolverine. But I'm just going to quickly recap uh, what I think of the other movies. The first X-Men, pretty good. X-Men 2 was my favorite. X-Men 3, it was okay. Not the best, but it was okay. Uh, X-Men Origins, the piece of crap of the whole X-Men. Uh, X-Men First Class, not that bad. I actually kind of like this one. It's pretty good. At least it's better than like the third end of uh, X-Men Origins. And then the Wolverine spinoff. I liked it. That was pretty good. Now we're into X-Men Days of Future Past, and holy crap, this is now my new favorite X-Men movie. I mean, um, what I really love about it, I, like the cast, like you get the old cast from uh, the old movies, and you get the new uh, cast from X from First Class. They, they're all combined together in this one movie, and holy crap, it was so awesome. I love the new cast and the old cast. It's great. I also really love this story. It's based on the comics of Days of Future Past. I did read it. They did follow a few things, but I still enjoyed it for I still enjoyed it for at least uh, putting in the, re the respectful source material. Um, the Sentinels were great in this movie. Uh, I love uh, what they have done for the ending. I'm not going to reveal that to you for spoiler-free, but... Oh my gosh, it was breathtaking amazing. Check this movie out. If you haven't seen it, go see it. So, yeah. Okay, now we're going to get into a uh, really detailed spoiler alert. And I think I'm going to make this into a two-parter spoiler because I want to put in full discussion about uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. So, just like my Godzilla spoiler review, how it has two parts, I think this one will do the same. So, this one would do the same thing. So, I'm going to have like a long conversation here. So, yeah, I'm going to make two separate uh, videos. This is the first half of the spoiler. Then, uh, then I'll put the next one in. So, yeah. So, holy crap. This was awesome i loved everything about this movie it oh my gosh i mean i i i written so many stuff on my whiteboard that i had to like talk whatever it was so okay uh first off oh the future scenes they are so cool to look at i mean this is i mean the plot like i don't find it original or new because like it was made in the 80s, but I think it was made after Terminator, because this is the same kind of concept where, like, it's a crappy future, but they have to go back to the past and prevent that happening. They do it again here, and also, it has this, kind of this uh, familiar style of the future what Terminator had, but I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, I love, um, I love future apocalyptic movies when they're like this, when everything's all dark, blue, and just, you know, gritty, and also, um... Like, they'll have future guns, but, like, laser guns. And when they shoot, they have, like, colored lasers. Like, like in the original first Terminator, like in the Terminator movies, like in the future scenes, I love the future scenes because, you know, it's something so, like, like, you think, when you think Apocalypse, you think of this. You know, it's all colored and everything, and the lasers and everything. It's so cool. And they do that for this movie, and I think that is awesome. Like, if I made, like, a top ten list of one of my favorite future moments in movies, this would be part of it. Um, like, I love the future scenes. I love the style of it. It's just so breathtaking to look at. Uh, so, yeah, I love the future style scenes. It just looks absolutely great. Also, the old cast is back in this movie. And like I said, they're back in the new cast. The old cast is back. Holy crap. Yes, because I love the old cast from the old um, X-Men movies. Like... Holy crap, it was so awesome to see them back, and I, I'm so glad to see, like, Patrick Stewart come back, Ian McKellen, uh, Halle Berry as Storm, um, you know, oh my, it was so awesome, even Ellen Page comes back, and it was just awesome, so yeah, I definitely, like, just love how the old cast is back in this one, and the new cast is still really, really good, and, I mean, it doesn't have every single one of the old uh, every single of the new cast from like X-Men First Class, but it does have like the major main ones. And it was just, they just done that so well. So yeah, um, what else? Oh, the Sentinels. Holy crap, these Sentinels are awesome. Now actually, 
I did really like the comics about X-Men, I do know about, like, the Sentinels. The Sentinels are cool, but I always just think they just don't look that good. Like, I like the concept of them. I mean, they're, like, destroying mutant sort of robots. It, it's so cool. In this movie, dang, they're just, like, Terminator if they're bigger and, you know, does more than, like, Terminator things. Like, it can do anything, it can morph into anything what the mutant will do to them, and it's just so awesome i love the futuristic um sentinels the most i think they look really very robot like futuristic as well because this really does look like like this could be made today this could be made like 30 years into the future which it's so cool i love how they look and you and back in the the 70s though like the purple ones they're still pretty cool i would say they kind of do remind me of like iron man robots but at the same time though i just love the the future sandals better because, you know, they look more futuristic and they just look like something that's just so impossible to make, which is just so awesome. I definitely enjoyed the Sentinels in this movie. Uh, okay, well, it's oh, actually, this is actually one nitpick of this movie I had to address. One thing I actually didn't like about, like, X-Men Origins Wolverine and The Wolverine is Wolverine's Bone Claws. They, okay, I'm gonna admit, I hate the Bone Claws. Like, I know they're supposed to be, like, before the adamantium, uh, uh, metal claws and stuff, but you know what? Ugh, they're just so ugly looking, guys. I mean, like, like, the, like, the metal claws look like metal claws, and they're so cool. They're, and that's, like, the coolest thing that Wolverine uses, but, like, bone claws? Really? Ugh, I hate the bone claws. They're just so ugly looking. So, yeah, that, that's just a little nitpick, though. Uh, okay. Oh, and um, I love the idea about um, having, Wolf having Wolverine to go back in time. Because even in the original comics and the original cartoon, how Bishop goes back. Which I do kind of miss that. Also, Bishop's really cool in this movie. I love Bishop. But um, he doesn't really do that much, which is kind of disappointing. But at the same time, though, Wolverine goes back. And this time, they made it like it's, it makes more sense. This time, Ellen Page is a character. Um, get, like, uses her conscious... Uh, like, gets into, like, the character's consciousness or Wolverine's consciousness and it, it then like sends him back in time which I like the idea although I didn't really I, I couldn't remember X-Men Last Stand so I think I kind of missed something there because I didn't know that she does time traveling things I know she could go through walls but I didn't know she could do time traveling so yeah that's like that's actually another kind of nitpick unless if I didn't hear that from X-Men The Last Stand but you know so like Wolverine has to go back and again this is like the Terminator sort of plot where he has to go back to the past and just like prevent that from happening but uh, so yeah i mean i just i thought they did that pretty well i mean i would say it's kind of unoriginal but at the same time though i do like the way how they handled it i thought it was really really good so yeah i like the idea so yeah, i really really like the idea about that so, yeah. um another, what's another thing oh another thing this is also kind of a nitpick but at the same time i like what, what i do like about this movie it's just like magneto is just such a bad idea to use because like like in the future, Charles Xavier is just like, okay, you gotta get, you gotta, you know, find me, and I'll help you with all this. And then Magneto's, and then Magneto's like, and you gotta find me too. That's kind of a bad idea because, like, air, like Magneto in the past, he screws everything up in this movie. He just makes the situation even worse. Like he's the kind of character who just doesn't exactly understand it. I mean, it's like, okay, so I got this and this done. I'm just gonna do this. And I'll probably screw this up and stuff. Like, like when he tried, like, basically what history really happened is that Mystique actually um, kills uh, the inventor of the uh, Sentinels. And that's when the government, government knew that, um, that mutants are dangerous. So that's why they made the Sentinels. So, yeah, I, think that, I thought that was a good idea. So they had to stop uh, Raven, but I call her Mystique because, you know, she's always Mystique. So, yeah, like, they have to stop Mystique, you know. But, you know... Magneto just takes it the wrong way. It's just like, oh no, you're the one that caused the future, the doomsday future. I show Keely. I'm just like, what is freaking wrong with you? You're just, that won't help. I mean, you guys, I mean, I love how this movie like just, um, um, explains that you can't just do one thing to like prevent the future. It's like, it's like a prophecy that's gonna happen. You gotta stop everything about that. Like, you gotta cover them. Like, it's like Terminator 2. Like, when Terminator goes back, not only just like he 
kills the original create the original creator of Skynet, but he has to destroy every single trace of Skynet so that way the future wouldn't happen. And that's what they did here with this movie, which I definitely enjoy that. Jeez, why can't more uh, superhero movies be like Terminator? Just be like more interesting like that way. So, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. At the same time, though, it, it, it does kind of. It does kind of annoy me that, oh, Magneto, you're not getting the point here. So, yeah, basically, he just makes his situation worse. Even in the final battle when he takes the um, <clears throat> the stadium, I'm just like, you're making it worse. Seriously, this is not helping. I mean, Wolverine should have just been like, uh, yeah, why would I get you, uh, younger you, in the past when I know that he's going to screw everything up? So, yeah, he would have been pointless in this movie, but at the same time, though, it does kind of gives you, gives you this interesting feel. And of course, you know, Michael Fassbender is like, um, uh, Magneto is just great, you know. I mean, he's great. <laughs> I liked him. And Ian McKellen. Most people seem to like Michael Fassbender more than Ian McKellen. But I like both of them. Like, like none of them are be like none of them are better or worse. Like they're both like equally good. I like both E. McKellen and Michael Fassbender. They're both really good uh, Magnetos. And same thing for like um, and same thing for um, the old and the new Charles Xavier, pa Patrick Stewart, and James McCovey. But I actually kind of think that like I like both of them. But for me, I think uh, Patrick Stewart is kind of a little bit more better because, you know, he looks for the part. I mean, yes. I mean, I know. Jason McCovey, this is like what Professor X looks like back then when he was young. But, you know, I like it better when, you know, he's bald and he's on his wheelchair and he's smart and wise and everything, which I like that. But I still like both of them. I like both of them. So, yeah, I mean, you know, those, those two are good. So, yeah. Okay, next thing to talk about. Um... Now, this is actually one thing that I actually didn't expect to be actually pretty good. Because I said this in kind of my other reviews where I said that um, that I was not excited for Quicksilver. Because I, did I didn't like the way how he looks. Like, I think it looks way better than like Avengers Age of Ultron stuff. Surprisingly, I think... Wow. Actually, surprisingly, I think uh, Quicksilver is probably one of my favorite characters. Funniest, actually. Funniest characters in this movie. Like, he's so... And he's got, like, cool power. And, you know, he's he's sort of like Flash. You know, he's speed... You know, I, lo I like the scenes where he, like, does this speeding thing. Like, how everything slows down. And he just, like, runs. It just does everything. Like, the scene where, like, all those police guards were, like, gonna shoot, like, Wolverine, Magneto, um, Xavier, and, you know, Quicksilver. Like, Quicksilver just, like... His whole world, like, slows down. He puts on his headphones and his goggles on. He just, like, starts running. And he sets, like, these Home Alone traps sort of thing. Like, like he'll have, like, this one guy's gun. Like, he'll have it like this. But then, like, Quicksilver would move, like, his one hand. So that way the gun will, like, hit his head. And when he, like, stops running and stuff, which is pretty cool. Even, like, he, like, um... He, like, puts um, this one cop's finger into his face, and it causes, like, some sort of huge punch or something like that, which is so awesome. Like, he runs around. Holy crap. Actually, Quicksilver is really awesome in this movie. I will admit, he's really cool. So, yeah. Ave Avengers Age of Ultron, a Aaron Taylor Johnson Quicksilver. How are you going to be better than, you know, this Quicksilver? I mean, I'm, st I'm still excited for the new... I'm still excited for Aaron Taylor Johnson's... Um, Quicksilver, but Quicksilver in X Men Days of Future Past, I think he, I think he done really, I think he has done very, very well. I really liked his character. I also really liked the actor as well. I really like that. I also like this one mention where like, um, where he when he meets Ma when Magneto leaves and he's just like, oh, so you lift up metal? Okay, my mom knows a guy who is sort of like that, and I'm just like, bam, that must be Magneto's dad. I mean. Obviously, I mean, in the comics, you know, Magneto's kids are Scarlet Witch and um, Quicksilver. And, you know, I'm just like, oh, that's an awesome little reference right there. That's that's really, really cool. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I really can't wait to see him in um, X-Men Apocalypse because I heard he's going to be in that one. So, yeah, 